In this video, I'm going to be restoring the polycarbonate roof and also the headlamps on my Smart for Two 451. with headlamps on many cars the polycarbonate roofs on these vehicles deteriorate over time and this is primarily due to sunlight which erodes away at the surface some vehicles are more effective than others i think it largely depends on whether the vehicle lives in a garage most of its time uh, or, or just where it's stored and, and how much exposure it has to sunlight uh, mine's pretty bad really foggy really misty you can't really see through it and it's a bit of a trial and error here because i don't know if this is going to work Certainly going to give it a go. If it does, then all the better. If it doesn't, at least it will be well prepared for the wrapping, which is, is what will probably be the next step. That's plan B, to get the roof wrapped with something called like carbon fiber or something. So we'll see how this goes. It's a bit of an experiment. So I have a whole bunch of things here. I have a polisher, which is a draper. It's about 70 quid. I'm hoping that that's going to be effective in carrying out this job got some really fine 2000 grit wet and dry sandpaper here which is, should be fine enough to, to not damage the surface and scratch it. This is a cutting compound and it's said to be effective for dealing with scratches and surface marks that can be created by 1400 grit wet and dry so that should be strong enough for the job to prepare the surface. Not so sure about this. Uh, this uh, I bought from Halfords, saw it. I thought this might be something good to actually finish the job off. I'm, I'm thinking this will be a, a lot um, finer than this cutting compound here. So let's get on with the job. Now, as you will see, the surface of this headlamp is pretty poor. I mean, I've seen worse. Sometimes they go completely opaque. Uh, you can still actually see into the headlamp, uh, but I'm really hoping I can improve upon this. The other side's pretty much the same. And now we come to the roof, uh, and this is really bad. Now, it is a problem on these cars. It's a polycarbonate roof. And effectively, sunlight just damages it over time. And the surface deteriorates like this. You can scratch off this. So I'm hoping that with the use of the polishing mop, I should be able to cut right back through this. Now, those that have the pure model smart don't have this roof arrangement. They have a solid roof and they're not immune from problems too. They have issues where they delaminate. It's like a stippled surface with a clear layer and the clear layer actually peels away. So they can get pretty scabby too. And I'm not covering those particular style of roof in this video. This is really about the polycarbonate roof that you should be able to see through from the inside of the vehicle. It does unfortunately make these cars like a bit of a greenhouse. They get very hot very quickly, so it's great to have the air conditioning working, which mine doesn't. Bit of a sore point, but I'll be dealing with that. So first of all, it's best to remove this little bonnet, just to give extra room. I'm actually going to undo this Torx screw and take this bonnet completely away, because I don't really want it just located in these little slots here, because it's going to be a nuisance having it in the way here. So this is just a T25. And once that's undone, this whole panel can be removed and stored somewhere safe so I don't trip over it, which is very common for me. Now this job has the potential to be quite messy and splatter cutting compound everywhere. So to minimize the cleanup operation afterwards, I'm just gonna put this sheet in here. This will clean up later and I can have this back on the bed by tea time. It would be an absolute cow to clean splatterings of cutting compound from all inside this bay here. I think it's an engine bay then, there's no engine at the front. So I've moistened the pad and I just put three small drops on here.
I can immediately see that that's making a good job. It's really important to keep this wet because you really don't want this to start burning. The heat that's generated from this action can be quite uh, extreme. So you don't want to damage the surface with that heat. And using a wet wipe, I'm now just cleaning off this headlamp just to see what difference it's made and if there are any areas I've missed. That is unbelievable. That is so clear again. I did not expect it to come out that good. I can honestly say that that has way exceeded my expectations. Look at the clarity there when compared to the other side. Excellent. Now something tells me that this is going to be very hungry on power. That was down to one light a minute ago, one of three, and I've only done one headlight and I've got the whole roof to go. So I may have to do this in stages and recharge this little battery. Probably should, could get a spare, but I've only just bought this. So we'll see how things go. So it's time to have a go at the other side. I'm gonna fit this little handle that came with this tool just to see if it makes it any easier. I'm slightly concerned that I'm blocking up the air vents with my hands and I'm holding this. Maybe that's why it's getting so hot. So maybe this will help in uh, supporting it. And let's see what we can do. It's quite a messy job, so don't wear your best suit. Using this handle really helps to steady the tool, but I can still feel it's getting bloody hot. So here we are, battery flat, one and a half headlamps done. This is gonna take a while I sense. I might be shopping for a spare battery so one can be on charge while I'm using the other. And let's see how this one has turned out. I'd like to have done a bit more, but the battery's gone. So that's on charge. When that has charged, I'm gonna do a bit more to this one. Okay, so uh, I've decided to go out and buy a new battery, a spare battery, so I can have one on charge while one's in use. These are only 1.5 amp hours. Um, so I dashed down to Tool Station, um, grabbed this spare. It was 25 quid. They did do a four amp hour version, which would be far better. It's nearly uh, three times more capacity. Um, they didn't have it in stock, and that was really annoying. I needed to crack on today, so I just bought this. Um, they seem to take about an hour to charge, but if they're only going to last 10 minutes, 15 minutes, it's going to be very slow work doing this roof. So I've finished these two headlamps now. I just did another pass over them with uh, some more cutting compound. I'm very pleased with the result. Really clear. And on the other side, crystal clear in there. Let's hope I can get similar results on the roof, which is in a worse state. So it's all masked here. I don't want to damage the Tridian paint. And I mask the top of the windscreen too. Now let's see what we can achieve here. Everything is getting splattered, including the GoPro. This really is a messy job. So I'm now going to use this 2000 grit wet and dry. See if I can actually get through this layer. Using this and then buffing it again might be the key. To this looking good. 
Okay, so I'm going a different route now. I've decided I'm going to sand this whole area, this whole corner that I've already done with the buffer polisher to see if this, which is then followed up by another buffing, will give a better result. Okay, so the whole roof has now been sanded with 2000 wet and dry sandpaper. So I've managed to buff this sort of front corner here and the results are reasonable, although I will need to go over it again. Again, the buffer ran out of battery power when I got to the back here. So that's charging again. That's been a theme throughout today really, is constantly stopping and waiting for batteries to charge. I certainly don't rate this Draper buffer. Uh, it's probably only any good if you're buffing a fuel tank on a bike or something, uh, but for a car, it's really inadequate. I wish I'd bought a mains powered one. And you know what they say about a watched pot never boiling. I just need that light to go green and then we can carry on. Okay, so this roof has been buffed now about three or four times. I've also polished these black side trims and also the little spoiler at the back here. So I'm now going to wipe this off and we'll see what we're left with. Well, what can I say? That was hard work. The job is done. I've been out here all day. Um, I've been very hindered by the product, by that Draper polisher. Um, it really is rubbish. Um, and it's, it's probably only good for really small jobs. It lasts, lucky if you get five minutes out of it. How you could ever polish a car or anything like that with it um, is beyond me. Um, I'm quite happy with the result. I probably needed to do more to it. Um, and it's just, uh, I'm just losing the will with that device. Uh, I need a mains powered one. Um, definitely don't recommend the device at all. Uh, let me show you the results and see what you think. Feel free to comment below. So this is the roof now. It's definitely a lot smoother. It's definitely a lot blacker. There are still a few marks in the surface here and there's just a little bit of the tide mark here around the edge. It's definitely an improvement. The headlights are fantastic and I'm very happy with those. So all in all, not a bad job. I'd say it's average, it's definitely improved it. I can do better and I will another time, but I will probably buy a different machine to do it with. As is often the case, it is a Saturday evening. I'm still out here, filthy dirty, really grimy, need to jump in the shower and have a cold beer. Please do subscribe to my channel and help it grow. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.